channel folks welcome back to mad cardigan and our continuing playthrough of fallout 4 with hadley the hammer this lovely young lady right here uh while off screen i dumped a few things uh, got rid of a little bit of a uh, excess junk things of that nature and uh put on some the best armor i could i was going to wear kellogg's outfit but that won't allow you to wear any uh leg armor chest armor so i think we can do better yeah so let's talk to carla before we leave i can't so remember if we started? did that last time looking to trade rob me or just ask directions to diamond city just looking for love sweetheart <laughs> girl have you come to the wrong place my loving days have long since passed but i'll tell you what beautiful you made an old girl smile and that ain't easy you want to do some trading? I'll uh, give you a discount. Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. Keep your shirt on. Her attitude changed quickly. Little tip with Carla, always be sarcastic. And uh, you get some good prices from her. Mm, doubt she has anything really worth it. But let's take a look anyway. A machete. Uh, I think we're going to stick with what we have so far. Nothing else. Pretty regular old hard hat might not be a bad choice. At least it has a little bit of armor. Uh, she has your typical standard stuff. Vodka, don't drink. She has some decent... Oh yeah, she carries a lot of shipments of stuff. A lot of uh, extra material stuff. I don't think she has anything we actually need, but let's see if we can offload any any extra stuff. Do we have like an incredible amount of things we need to get rid of, ammo-wise? Um, I guess we can give her all of our 38 rounds. I don't believe we'll be using those at all, and they're pretty plentiful. They lay around everywhere. We kept Kellogg's pistol, so we're going to hang on to these 44 rounds because that's what that uses. Uh, Nick blew all our 45, and that... That submachine gun he was using. Keep the fusion cores. I think that's enough for right now. Well, we took a little bit of our money. That ought to be okay. All right. We are looking at going back to see Piper. Uh, talk about killing Kellogg and what we found. We're still on the track of Keyshawn. So let's go see what we can see with her. Level 10, almost to 11, which is an important level, and I'll show you why as soon as we get there. Piper, I got a story for you. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Uh, let's... We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. You Sean. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, small yeah, problem. I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, you were there, a Nick. murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Beaten huh. out. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Picking up 
Sarcasm. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not Ooh, need the man at touchy, all. Touchy, are we? You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Sounds good to me. I got no I hope ideas. you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're going to need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I picked this Actually, corpse clean. I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll stick with Nick, I like him. I don't know if I totally trust him, because he, he is a machine, but uh... Piper's kind of, she's kind of silly. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm going to do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, you stay here and research. Good idea. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Ought to be Diamond City's motto. All right, thanks, Nick. Looks like we're heading out again. Come on, Nick, let's hit it. Trusty old bat. Let's check our map and see what we got going on. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of places closer than where we are now. Okay, so back to the, the station where I found Nick. Has he still got that? Oh, yeah, he's using that. Oh, that's right. That's where all my fusion cells went. I gave them to Nick. Use them wisely, buddy. Okay. Worker's going this way. A lot of my case is dead end. Nasty cannibals. Oh. Cannibals. Oh, get off me. <laughs> Gotta get the power on this bat up. Chasing me? I can get him through the fence. Oh no, I jumped through the fence. Nice. Another one over there, Nick. Sorry, folks, won't be chewing on us. Chewing on us. See? Good job, man. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Tossing stuff your way, all you're doing is blowing on my ammo. That looks gnarly. Whoop, see super mutant. Hang on. Let's get, get sneaky. This guy may be a little tougher than a ghoul. Oh, come on. I see him right there. Ah, a little closer. Yeah, there we go. Sneak attack. Whack. Out there. Oh. Somewhere. Did you say out there somewhere? I think you meant somewhere out there. Come on, we 
and not going all over the building for those things. Bodies lying around everywhere. Ding. More pistols. What was that? Oh. I heard something. He's way over there. Okay. Good enough. Welcome to Good Neighbor. Stand up, Piper. Well, Stand well, up, well. It's the detective. Checking down another wayward husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call Ooh. it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? You're the dick in training. We're working together, yeah. Really? Well, you're in luck. I got a special offer on some insurance for partners of the great gumshoe here. Hmm. See how my speech check's not been working. You better back so. off. Or you're the one who's going to need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the oh, sound yeah. of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Nick Valentine. This whole Nick doesn't like me standing up for myself. You're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap. Good to see uh -huh. you, man, Nick. Hancock. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart yep. over here. You all right, sister? I'm oh, yeah. fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. There's a buddy over there. Hey, we're chest plate sisters. Going in the okay, Capitol building or whatever that is. Guess we're not supposed to be talking to them right now. Okay, let's keep rolling. That ghoul guy kind of reminds me of the uh, character in the new upcoming Fallout 4 series. I don't know if you've heard about that yet. I think it's on Amazon, I believe. It looks pretty neat. It's about time they did a movie or a show about this game. One of the characters in it looks looks like that guy. Looks like Hancock, but uh, I think he's more like a cowboy or something. I thought you had forgotten about. Probably just found a cowboy hat. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. You big flirt. So you know each other. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Oh, not quite close enough. Uh, Nick, this is your idea. all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Defiling corpses in this world doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Come on, we need Please. help. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead Gotta brain find Keyshawn. had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. 
The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Oh, I gotta see what sarcastic means here. Did you say here. that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! <laughs> Sorry. No, I will not. Now, do you have it? Spoil sport. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this it's thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Uh, skip, skip to the, the good science. Part, Doc. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine. Assuming he's willing to take on the risks. He's yeah, willing. Why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. You can see in there. Uh, let's be courteous. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can Otherwise, we couldn't continue the story. Your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling, Plug my old in. grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? She's about to There's do a, a Vulcan neck pinch on you. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's she hasn't even I touched you yet. Off. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Uh, okay. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Okay. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Okay, he hops in there, I hop in here. For those of the few of you that haven't played this game, um, I'm going to go through this whole whole memory sequence. It isn't the most exciting thing, but it is some good information about the guy we just beat to death with a bat. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. It's sticky in here. There. This oh, is oh. the earliest intact memory I can find. Looks like it's making me transparent. That's kind of weird. Should have done this in first person. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm trying to sleep! All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment... Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. That cost her more than a few beatings. 
I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Got his little rocket jammies this on. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. Nah, you had hair. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got Connie. It. Let's name keep was looking. Connie. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Maybe it's Conrad or something. Leave it at Connie. Okay, so he had a kid and all that stuff. That makes it even worse. Shoot my uh, ambulance to chase her husband like he did. How did you think Stealing this was going to end, baby. Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Oh, just so you know. They died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. Mm. I'll connect you. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Oh, so he's just killing families now. Nice guy. It's been years since I've actually watched these memories. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't 
don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. How about now? Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic look familiar. suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. This is the one. Here. Open it. Oh, there's me and I'm awake. You messed with the wrong lady. Is it okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! Careful with Keyshawn. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Back you up. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay.
X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again Get soon. Bye. Look at Star Trek. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Interesting. Like I said, I didn't watch that several years. Certainly didn't remember Kellogg's name was Connie. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Got a little wobbly leg. Let's do Next sarcasm. time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're nice. cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Uh, that Virgil that guy. scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Mm, well, this is my game, so I will find him. If we need to find Virgil. Then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I like sticking with sarcasm. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. No, you're not, Hadley. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. So be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. That's spelled okay. Oh, I can always grab your. Ooh, she's got medicine laying all over the place in here. Out of way. Stim packs. Always need them. Anything else interesting? The magazine. Don't need cigars. We don't smoke. Think. Uh, what does this do? Oh, it's a game. Okay. Not enough gotcha. of value keeping the old CPU sharp anymore. Well, you're in here, Nick. I think I need fuses. Always take wonder glue. All right away. She got drugs all over the place. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Keep the shrimp. Mm-hmm. Heading out, heading out. Oh, there's Nick. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two, huh? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Hmm. I think I want my dog back. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. I do like that um, Lone Wanderer perk. So, go with the puppy. Hey everyone. Yeah, 
gather around. Let's get the breeze back. Oh. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are talking. Thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy. Glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the Brother best way to stick steal. together is better stay out to of keep good an eye out. out for what drives oh, us apart. Thing. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? Yeah, the, the Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us. us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor. Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! people. For, For the people. people! You should stop by the Speech, store buddy. during the day. Daisy's oh. discounts. Everything you need for the road. Another ghoul. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I got a level up. And the reason 11 is so important is because Idiot Savant goes up. So now that random XP boost goes from uh, three times to five times. So you get a good two or three hundred quest in and you're looking at thousand, fifteen hundred 1,500 points. All right. Let's roll with that. Oh, they want us to go to the glowing sea. I think we may need a little more, a little more um, strength before we should start doing that. Especially some more fusion cores, maybe. Mm, we were on the freedom trail as we were going this way. Uh, let's see if there's anything we could do. Yeah, we can. Continue on for a minute, I think. But before that, let's uh, always check the vendors. Oh, hey, Cleo. Oh, well, boy. Hello. Hold still. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see what you have. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Always check these folks for their... Most of them have a legendary something. There it is. Party starter. Well, too bad I don't use guns. The uh, missile launcher, which I don't have any missiles. I can do some area damage. But 13,000, holy... Okay, that's the only... Oh, they have some armor. What? <laughs> 23? Yeah, I don't have... Uh... Sorry, don't have 40,000 caps on me right now. I'll go talk to Trash Can Carl. I'll be back. It's... Whoa. Okay, these prices are insane. How about you? Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. You just told me Let's to come in. Let's see what you got. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Mm, what does she have? 
anything? No. Oh, there's a couple armors. I know that's more reasonable. Movement speed, that's always good. Reduced damage, that's good too. Still way out of my price range. Okay, we'll be back later. Daisy, she said she had some if work. You hit upon something, don't bother telling me it's an heirloom. I'm probably older than whatever it is you're selling. Ah, uh, you look great. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. 200, huh? This is never going to work, but we'll try it anyway. I don't think cover clearing out a whole building. You got a good point. We'll Ooh. make it uh, 250 caps. Not going to push you my You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Yep, sure will. Hey, Daisy. Oh, you know what? I'd... Don't be shy now. Chances are we. Sure. Skimmed right Let's through there. Uh, All the supplies, money, or violence selection. can buy. I'll make sure they don't have a better. Melee. She does. She got pipe wrenches, machetes. Want some like some hammers. Hadley the hammer needs a hammer. Hey Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got. Murder and mayhem at it. Okay. So oh, she has an officer sword. No, don't think we need a sword. Knuckles. No, that's going in the wrong direction. Ooh, there is a sledgehammer. Only 110. More damage, but it's slow. You know, we got to start somewhere. Let's go ahead and take that bad boy. Get our namesake. What can we sell her? Back to our ammo. See, I already got more. 27 or 30 rounds, 38 rounds. Except. Six. I don't even think I have a shotgun, so. Yeah, you can have all this stuff. Uh, need to keep the little bit of the 44. Don't have a 308. 45, I may be done with old Nick. Goodness, cybernetic. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you need either one of those things. Robco fund. Don't need any of those. Okay, I think that's. Hey, broke a thousand. We got a lot of miscellaneous stuff we don't need. Yeah, we'll sell it later. Okay, fantastic. Now let's check on that hammer. How does that thing look? Sledge hammer. Okay, not. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this, just because we are the hammer. Put Kellogg's pistol in the, in the hot bar thing. Wonder. Oh, there. Well, now we're talking. You know what? Since we're already in a place where we can fast travel to, and I need to go find my dog, let's run back up to. Um, I think he's in sanctuary. Pretty sure I sent him home there. If I remember right. And we'll see if we can upgrade this hammer that. Store the junk. Craft it. 
modify. Nope. Oh, lordy, we need a lot of stuff. Oh, my goodness, but look at those things. Ow. Oh, my goodness, those are some nasty looking. Ooh. Okay. Oh, can't do anything with it right now. So, when we get some more uh, points, we need to upgrade our uh, skill point and, like, the weapon upgrade, you know. Now we gotta find that silly dog. I think I sent him back here. It's a little bit of a time delay in between my sessions with this game, so possibility I'm misremembering, but we'll see. Let's see. There's a few dog houses. He likes going to the dog houses. The little trick is come on, there we go. Get rid of these things, or storm in your storm in your hat, or in your um, workbench. Then he can't go to them. So he makes it a lot easier to find. There's another one behind this house. I think there's three total in the game, or in the sanctuary. One and nope, no dog meat. Uh, speaking of dog meat, there goes my neighbor's dogs barking again. The bumpus hounds strike again. How about this one? Third time's a charm. Oh, you know what? Take this thing and I'm gonna put it up by where I spawn when I come back here. That way, if he does get sent back here, this is where he will be. Gotta have his house. There we go. Okay, he's not here. Huh? Nothing, Carla. I wonder, did I send him to his original spot, maybe? No, it's not like I... Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. What are you looking at? Hey, boy. Come on, boy. Let's go. It's time to go. That's a food dispenser. It's not a TV. You know that, right? Like those flashing lights, maybe. All right. Got my hammer and got my dog. Need a few more experience points and start putting some spikes on this thing. What'd you find, buddy? Where? Oh, yeah. I'm sure this... This is full of stuff. We found a truck. Good job. Oh, this. Cigarettes. Okay, I'll take them just because you found them. That's a good boy. Okay. Red Rocket is where we're going to call it a part today. So thank you for joining Mad Cardigan. Uh, everyone be good and behave, and I will see you in the next one.